So hello and welcome to another video and today as you can see we're on Moto GP17 once again for another race against pole. As you can see we are Jack Miller this time at Argentina, Thomas de Rio Hondo. And you can see I've kind of made a 43 based on his uh, like real life 43 on the new bike. I am working on the new livery on Petrucci's bike at the minute and I'm going to then port it to the GP16 chassis as well but it's not quite done so I apologize for that so today we've got to beat a 1 minute 47.153 now I've tried to replicate it the best I can in the game obviously he set his time on slicks on a drying track so we're gonna just do wets on a drying track because um, the game's faster it should be possible but I suppose we'll see. So we're going to go for trying to get like a, well, better than a 47. I think it'd probably be one of those things we'd do it first time again. But uh, yeah, let's head to the track. I mean, it's a lot more phone. That's why I had to read the time off of. So it's already pretty dry if you look at it. Now, I haven't actually played this game for about a week. So I'm going to have to get acclimatized to it again. I definitely put medium touch control on here. Just kind of guessing the braking mark because I was a little early, but whatever. So through turn one as we run it, through, slide in the rear air, and oh, high side. Okay, well I've let that one get the better of me. So that's a, it's a bit of a shock really there, isn't it? And I'm sorry it's late, but and I like because I'm literally recording this on Friday, and the race was on uh, the qualifying was on Saturday. It's been almost a week since he actually put it on pole, but um, yeah, I've been a bit busy doing revision and stuff, so not had not really had the time to actually make a video because it takes a long time for me to export and stuff. But if I'm doing a live com like this, uh, it should be alright. Well, we should get a video on Sunday because, or, well, not actually on Sunday, but we should get a video after Sunday because I've got the ALR race, so I can record that. And I might stream it. You have to let me know, but I'm hosting, so I might not be able to stream because it might slow my internet down too much. And I don't want to disconnect or cause lag for other ri uh, riders, drivers. Oh, okay, I've invalidated my lap, so this one doesn't count, but. It'll be a good marker to see what we can get. And I've absolutely messed that up as well. I'm not really riding very well here, am I? I know usually the lap times are in like the 30s. Like the 30 something. So 147 in the wet. You don't quite lose that much time on the game compared to the dry. You lose 3 or 4 seconds usually, something like that. Obviously, you lose a lot more in real life because, well, on the game, what happens if you lose the front? Nothing, really. You just get back on the bike, but real life, you know, if you come off from pushing too hard, you can hurt yourself. Fortunately, no one really did come off and hurt themselves, especially in the race with um, <coughs> someone's riding, not being very clean. And fortunately, no one was injured. However, people's championships were definitely maybe even ruined but I suppose we'll see and you sh you'll probably be able to figure out who I'm on about but you know you don't want to say the names because well I can say the names for one too but don't not don't want to get anyone riled up um, I was thinking about maybe doing a parody of it I, I don't know how people would feel about that I don't think they'd like it very much I'm not sure, that's not really the kind of thing I've done before, but I'd like to do some more kind of funny, humorous things on the channel. Obviously, a parody wouldn't actually be my thoughts and feelings, it'd be um, just what I think is funniest. But, yeah. We didn't mess up that corner this time. Let's try and be careful through it. I mean, there was smoke in the red tyres on the race through it. I mean, I'm, I'm not going to take it away, it was definitely a good race. Definitely. I, I enjoyed watching the race 
because obviously the uh, worst part didn't actually happen until like, like about two laps from the end. But you know, when you've got Cal Crutchlow banning for the lead, you can't exactly complain. I mean, now Cal Crutchlow is winning the championship as well, and LCR leading the constructors is it's a good been a good start to the season. Obviously, that the riding from Marquez was just not good at all throughout the race, but. You know, hopefully he doesn't do that again. Okay, well I've just crashed, so that's good. So I get to do the lap now. <laughs> Not doing very good at this, am I? I suppose it makes the video a bit longer. I fell off and I'm still beating the lap time, so we're gonna have no qualms beating it, are we? Oh, it's invalidated. This lap's invalidated, right? I'm gonna have to quick restart because I'm not doing a whole lap. That's invalidated because I fell off on the one before. I actually pretty much did what Mark did, to be fair. <laughs> I think I'm almost used to the physics again now, so... Hey, in real life, they proper ride that curb. Um, I noticed in the... like, o over the course of the weekend, like, everyone runs so much over that curb, even when it's wet. And... That was just... that comes as a little bit of a surprise to me. I mean, I know... I've seen people doing it in the dry and stuff before, but I didn't know like it was that essential that they had to do it even in the wet. I mean, I suppose if that's the racing line that everyone takes, then you're not going to just relearn the trap because it's wet. But you would have thought you wouldn't take the risk, but obviously the reward is so high and the risk is... it seems fairly low. I mean, I definitely don't take it in the game. I might take it on the last lap every so often if I'm trying to get past someone, but you don't want to take it like before the last lap because you just run wide and lose time. Obviously, if it's on the last lap, the run to the line, you can sometimes hold it. So, obviously, that's actually what Cal Crutchlow did in 2015 to get a podium here. So, he's had a pretty decent record here over the years. The two podiums from, is it, well, this would be the fifth race, wouldn't it? Yeah. Because it's 2014, 15, 16, 17, and 18. But, yeah, I'm happy with the result, I suppose of the actual race, because you know, I'm not going to complain if a fellow Brit's winning, but it's just I'd, you never like to see Valentino fall off, really. I mean, it obviously wasn't his fault at all. Like, he can't be held accountable for that, but you know, even if he gets knocked off, you don't want to see that either. You just don't want to see him on the floor. But, whatever. Alright, we're coming up to the line. We did a 39.5. We've absolutely destroyed it. That took a lot longer than I expected. The ghost is on, apparently. But that's it. That's it for this video. We uh, beat Jack Miller's pole time. Not that we're really going to be surprised. If you'd like me to uh, maybe start doing it with the Moto3 and Moto2 pole times, let me know. I mean, it might be a little bit more difficult to do the thumbnail, because obviously I usually just put the rider in the thumbnail. But, yeah. Uh, give it a like if you enjoyed and subscribe for more content like this and I shall see you in the next video.